16824OMAD or 186? Hmm. I don't know. What schedule would you choose and how can you get maximum results in weight loss with your intermittent fasting schedule, especially for us over 50? I started to embark on intermittent fasting schedule and I've been doing that oh, probably about three and a half years, but specifically OMAD. I eat one meal a day. It seems to be working out pretty good, but there are times that you hit your plateaus when you're trying to lose weight. If that's something that you're working with and trying to fight off, then maybe your schedule of intermittent fasting needs to be tweaked. Now, what is intermittent fasting, you ask? Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It is about scheduling when you're going to eat instead of what you're going to eat. Yes, I combine what I'm going to eat and when I'm going to eat and doing it together because that's the best combination, especially if you're looking to be extra healthy and get healthier and also if you're trying to lose the extra weight or extra pounds that you may have gained. Now, being over 50, it has been more difficult to lose that belly fat in between and also just extra weight. And, and even if I lost certain pounds, I still find that there are different places in the body that it's ending up that it wasn't there before. So I'm still seeing those fat pockets and I don't like it. I just, I don't like it. Who says we have to accept it that way, right? What I find with intermittent fasting is that I had to choose the best window that works for my body and what it reacts to in a more productive way. So for instance, if you are someone that has to have breakfast and you really want to do intermittent fasting, you may look at a schedule where you're going to say 16, eight, where there's 16 hours of fasting and eight hours you can have your meals. So if you're a breakfast eater and a lunch eater, then that will work perfectly. Say like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 4 p.m. would be your hard stop in eating anything that is of substance. You can still have something to drink like water or teas. At the end of the day, it will give you more time to digest your food, but also you're back into a fasted state. So while you're awake, you may go to bed at 10 o'clock, it's six hours already, you're burning the fat. And then when you're sleeping, you're burning the fat. You see what I'm saying? And then you start again with the intermittent fasting schedule of eight to four. I always find that the best times to stop eating are at least two to four hours before bed. And if you can hold out the longer, the better. You'll see a lot more results faster if you have cut off the time earlier in the day before going to bed. Maybe it's a situation where you don't need breakfast, but you like to push it off later in the day, maybe like 12 to eight. So you're still doing that 16, eight schedule, 16 hours fasting, eight hours of an eating window. So you may have lunch and you would have dinner. And if you really want to see some good results, you definitely want to cut out the snacking in between. So eating two meals in an eight hour eating window, but not snacking in between will help you out tremendously. You will see better results. Drinking lots of liquids with that will always be the saver. For me, I'm trying to reach that goal of drinking 20 ounces of water before the meal and then another 20 ounces of water after the meal. And I know it's a quite a bit of water, but really if you're making it more festive and squeezing lemon into it and or fusion like some blueberries in there or some raspberries even, then it makes it a lot more easier to digest in itself. Drinking the water is going to flush those food toxins and any other toxins through your body a lot faster will help you flatten out the stomach and help you move out the extra fat. So you definitely have to determine what is best for you. For me, for OMAD, what's best for me is usually dinner time, but it's early dinner time. I like eating between four and five o'clock in the evening and I usually give myself a two hour eating window 
With OMAD, I find that I'm not always as satiated for the one meal. So therefore I do have an extra snack at the end of the meal. So I give myself time. I give myself the two hour eating window and I'm actually fasting 22 hours a day. And for me, that's just comfortable. You know, it feels comfortable, feels good. I don't want to plateau right now. And so what I'm finding is that I'm plateauing. It's about what you eat then versus when you eat. So when you have your schedule already made out, you have to now look at the food that you're eating in that eating window. For me, I have to eat more plant-based foods, things that are low calorie density, and it makes such a difference when you are eating the right types of food that actually will be low calorie density that are getting you to the goal of losing the extra pound. So are you new to fasting in general? If you are, maybe you wanna start out slowly. Some people may just need to try a 14 hour and a 10 hour eating window. So 14 hours you're fasting and you have 10 hours to eat. Something like that might be helpful to start out so the task isn't so daunting. And as your body gets used to it, I would try it for a week at a time before I change or adjust my intermittent fasting schedule. See how your body reacts and then move up. Maybe you move up to the 16-8 and then you, maybe you move up. But I'll tell you something, the 16-8 was nothing for me because I'm not a breakfast eater in general. So I usually don't start eating until lunchtime. What I found is I was eating the two meals and I was snacking and I did a lot of damage in eight hours and still it just ends up backfiring in my case. So I know that my body doesn't respond to this type of intermittent fasting schedule. If you are looking for the right schedule and you're used to a 16-8 as well, then just bump it up a couple of hours. I'm telling you, one or two hour difference in tightening up the eating window will definitely show you some kind of movement when you're trying to lose those pounds. Again, if you're new to intermittent fasting, just start out with skipping the one meal and that would be like breakfast and then go from there and you'll see how that looks from there and then you start adjusting the window. Pay attention to what you're eating and when you're eating, then you're on the right track. One thing I like to mention is you should plan for your week. If you're starting a new schedule, anticipate when you might have to eat out instead of eating at home. Look at if you have appointments or something, maybe a lunch meeting. Just be prepared for those things in the schedule that you're setting up for yourself. Because if you're going out for dinners or something like that, and maybe you are finished eating by four or five o'clock, then you know it's not a good feeling if you're just sitting there watching everyone eat, right? You wanna set it up and say, okay, well, I know I'm gonna be eating on Wednesday. It's later than my usual intermittent fasting schedule. So therefore, I'm going to just push up my schedule that day, and I may have a longer fasting session that day, right? and just eat later so that you can enjoy your food with everyone else. So at the end of the day in intermittent fasting, just remember consistency is key when it comes down to that schedule. And so if you can go longer and see where your body is feeling like it's going to react in a positive manner for losing the weight, then I would stick with that schedule, whatever that looks like. And we know you have to be flexible sometimes, right? And that's the thing about OMAD. OMAD's flexible and I know I can adjust that schedule anytime, eat my one meal at a lunch meeting and just not eat the rest of the day, or I can do it at dinner and be fine. So whatever that looks like, you know life happens in the midst of us making plans, right? So. Stay flexible in that way. If you have questions about intermittent fasting, I do have a cheat guide, if you will, and what you can do to do an extended fast also. The link is in my website at regedited.com, and I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you have anything else you want to share, please do comment. You can also find me on Instagram at regedited, and I look forward to touching base with you and tell me how you're doing on your new intermittent fasting schedule. And don't forget that caregiving begins with you and always keep searching for the perfect bite and balance. Talk to you later. Bye.